What's up guys, Danny with Swamp and Stump. So we're gonna be doing a little scouting today in Zone C. I'm gonna be meeting up with Mark here at a, at a gas station. I got the car, I got the bikes loaded up. So um, a few of you guys have been wanting to see more scouting videos, so here it goes. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of our scouting videos. If you like what you see, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't gotten in on the raffle, make sure you click this link over here and get in on that because we're running that at the end of the month. That's about two weeks away. Also, if you want to get more entries into that raffle, make sure you check our, our Patreon page. The link is down in the description. I'll also try to put it up here, but I'm not sure that's going to work. Thanks, guys. All right, I was able to find Mark out here in the woods. Thank God, I was running out of water too. <laughs> so, uh, now yeah. we're uh, we're out here scouting. Uh, this is Zone C, so we're gonna go uh, check out some spots that we know, a couple that we don't know, and uh, maybe put out some cameras if we can find some fresh sun. So, we'll show you guys what we find. It's just luck. We're gonna need it. About two years ago, we came in here and we, uh, we scouted the Cypress Domes, and uh, it's in one of our videos, we uh, returned the dome, or what we call it, our, our trek through the dome, what we called it. There's a video about that? Yeah, it's at the end of a video, we were supposed to go following up, but we just never came Oh. Out. So when we were here, it was a lot drier, and this whole area, um, the edge of this valley, it's not really a valley, I guess, like a little prairie. Um, <laughs> It's like a there's just a marsh out there yeah, like and, marsh. And, and then uh, there's this edge it, it meets up with these cypress right here and right on the edge of the cypress there was rubs and a lot of tracks just tons of tracks but right now it's like all in the water so you can't see any tracks i still still think the deers are using this but uh i'm gonna go look for a little spot in here put a camera up and see if we can find anything so as you're going around if you're going to be saddle hunting you want to try to find spots that you can put your saddle. I found the perfect spot. There seems to be a uh, platform right there. Especially if you're into hunting three feet off the ground. <laughs> Tie your tether off right there. Boom. Good to go. Just be really still when the deer comes. <laughs> All right, so we've been walking through this super marshy area for a while. It's been like almost knee deep the whole time. This is the first little patch of dry land that we found. And you can tell right here, a lot of people have been asking how you can tell if there's a bed. You can see right here, nobody's been here. So this wasn't humans. You can see there's a like a flattened area in the shape of a body right here. You can also tell that like things have moved. Things have, like there's a track right here. You see that's where a deer's foot went right down in there. So there's definitely deer hanging out around here. There's some beds over there too. Um, seems like they're probably just trying to find little islands that they can lay down on without being in the water. We're on the edge of a little oak hammock here and uh, kind of had some cypress like mixed into it and we're just kind of walking the edge looking for tracks and we just found a couple here. Okay, see if I'm looking at it. I don't know how well that picks that up. <laughs> Alright guys, we're over here on uh, really like the main access trail that we're using to get into this area. Um, we went pretty far back on it, but uh, there's this area here where there's like a little oak island we're getting rained on. 
um, and there's actually like a lot of tracks right here and there's there's like um there's kind of this muddy area so the the hooves can kind of sink in but we got deer tracks right here all all through here and back here we got a bunch of them too and i mean this this is a big track you know these are these are not baby deer so there's definitely some deer moving through here um, now even though we don't necessarily expect to hunt here because like i said it's a main access path later in the, like when we get closer to the season there's gonna be people moving in and out of here like crazy um, so the deer probably stop using it later on but at least for the time being this is a great spot to put a camera just to get an idea of who's hanging out so we're gonna throw a camera up here and uh, hopefully we'll be able to show you guys some bucks a little promotional spot or promotional i guess a shameless plug a shameless plug for uh danny's fantastic I'll, I'll do the plug for you then then it's a little less pretentious these uh these bike racks are multi-purpose so why don't you show them one of the purposes of this bike rack got to get up in the tree real quick pretty easy hang a camera up and that just goes to show how strong these racks are what do you weigh danny uh, 215 215 and I, I put my fat ass on there and I'm 250. And who am I kidding? I'm 260. All right, Mark, turn to the deer. Well, you got to look at the camera to see if it's working. <laughs> this is the only way to check your game cameras to make sure they're catching. Make sure that they're, they're getting it. It didn't get me. Oh, it got me right here. Right here. This is the spot. That'll do. It's got me. So I just picked up this, uh, bird dog I'm gonna test them out is that where they're at get him boy I gotta get him <laughs> see if he's any good they're gone this bird dog sucks I'm gonna return this one get another one Turns out you need a good nose to find game. So we're at a different spot um, in zone C, kind of checking a camera that Mark already put out here. So we're going to see what we get on that camera and uh, we'll show you guys. Actually, just, just roll the clip. So as you see in those pictures, um, we're kind of trying to figure out where those bucks are going. There's a couple studs here. Mark has some so, ideas here. Here, just step out. So, as you can see, just point the camera right over here. There's a there's a whole bunch of dog fennel, this field out here. And we actually just spooked up a doe and she ran straight into this stuff. So there's a good chance that there's deer that are bedding down in this stuff and it's perfect because they uh, they can see really far if they stick their head up and they can smell anything that's coming from from one side and see everything from the other now way back not even that far but down that way that's where we had the camera like way across this field there's a pond back there and it was yeah there where, where his finger just was that's basically where the camera was so it's like three four hundred yards that way and there's a whole bunch of good habitat here and this little oak hammock that's right here I saw some really good tracks in there um, two weeks ago when I hung the camera. So we're gonna sneak in there and see if there's any more tracks. Um, Cause that might be a really good spot to set up at once it's time to hunt. This hammock underneath this oak tree here. Pretty good sized hog waddle here. So 
we haven't been back to this area since I shot that six pointer that I really messed up on. But five point. <laughs> Still <laughs> five point. I keep saying six. But anyway, um, if you want to see that video, it's right over here. It's not really a great quality, but I, I made a mistake in that video, and uh, it was a learning um, thing. But we're up past that. So Mike Patton. We don't make mistakes anymore. Mike came out with his dog, uh, Matt. What's his name? The dog? Mac. Mac. And he helped us find the buck. Well, and all that excitement, we ended up. I left my arrow here, and uh, we just found it right now. He's laying right, right where we left it. Yeah. And the cool thing was too that you shot the buck here, and he ran. So he ran out that way, and there's like a field out there, and we were looking around out there, but he circled back around, and we ended up finding him right like what 20 yards from where you shot yep. him yep. he came right back around and just goes to show if you have uh if you have dogs that are tracking you got to trust them because he kept trying to go back in there yeah and we kept pulling him away so so here's the pretty cool me. i definitely wouldn't try shooting this thing again but definitely not but there's the schwacker that did the job <laughs> do we have pictures do we have pictures of what that thing did to that deer we should look and see. I'm sure we do. Yeah. But if we do, we'll put it up on, on the video. Cause... Practice looks pretty good. Yeah, you can probably sharpen it up and reuse it. I don't know if it'll come off. Oh, it does. Huh. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that schwacker tore him up. We'll put a picture up. Let's go find a place to put a camera. So, we're kind of strategizing. And uh, we noticed a bunch of uh, other hunters out here seen a bunch of cameras um, and signs of people being around. So we're thinking about just kind of like getting away from the people. Um, so we're at, we're looking at an area that we actually seen some deers earlier. And we're I, mean, I think to... it's important to mention too, that like we know we've hunted this area before. I especially like, hell, this place is like the first place we ever hunted together. Yeah. And when when we first started hunting together i used to hunt here a lot so i know this area really well and we know the popular spots to hunt because we used to hunt them too um but there's a reason i don't hunt here anymore it's because i've never shot anything despite the fact that there's giant bucks here but it seems like when the season starts they just are nowhere to be found and okay, so disappear so now like we're you know, using that pressure to our advantage a little bit. Yeah. Or we're going to try to, at least. That, that's the plan, at least. I mean, we'll see. But, you know, we, we're kind of far away from where everybody usually goes. And um, but there's actually been a lot of scouting this season. Like, we were, I was out here two weeks, and there was other people here, too. And now we just came in, and there was three trucks here. So it seems like the deer are already getting some pressure. And so maybe where they're hanging out now is indicative of where they're going to hang out during the season. And they're like on the opposite side of where we normally would hunt. So we're kind of hoping that other people are going to focus on the, that area. And we're going to try and hunt in some places we just never really thought easily, of before, I guess. Easily overlooked areas. There's no, there's really like not a lot of trees to choose from to climb. There's, it's mostly like grass and palmettos. But the deer seem to be hanging out here, so who knows? Maybe we'll do some hunts on the ground this season. We're gonna we're gonna scout it out a bit, see if we can find more sign, and I guess we're just gonna find a way to hunt wherever wherever the sign is the best, whether yep. that's on the ground or in the tree. So we got two cameras left with us. Well, we have a bunch. We, we just got don't a bunch. We just <laughs> cards don't and have batteries. batteries. Don't have batteries and cards. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, set those up and come back and few weeks revisit them see uh see what we got hopefully we get those same bucks that we got on camera moving through where we're at now and uh see what happens yeah but definitely there's some studs here a little bit of a change we're actually uh kind of using the pressure to our advantage and uh hopefully it pans out we'll see sometimes you gotta switch it up from your comfort zone sometimes always every time every time you switch it up that's when that's when you see deer so keep them guessing subscribe now